Well, in hockey-hungry western New York, ice time at rinks can be pretty hard to come by. So, like other communities, the town of Tonawanda wants a new facility. But the question is now, how much will it cost and who's going to be paying for it? To your side, Steve Brown went to get some answers. At the urging of hockey players and hockey parents and hockey organizations, the town of Tonawanda was taking a look at building a brand new hockey rink. But the $8 million price tag gave them some pause. So they're trying to figure out how to get it built for just $2 million. Enter the Kenton School District. If we can help and this is doable, we'd really like to take a look at it. Tonight, members of the Tonawanda Town Board and the leaders of the Kenton District together publicly pitched their joint effort for a new hockey rink. Basically what we're trying to do is get this hockey rink built. The town's two existing rinks are undersized and old, at least 50 years on each. So town officials approach the school district to partner in the project. All of this is going to revolve around state aid. If we don't get the appropriate state aid, everybody understands that this project just can't fly the way it's currently conceived. If Kenton can convince the state education department, the rink project could get up to 76% of the project paid for by the state leaving $2 million for both the town and the district to split. It's unclear whether state officials would allow such a joint venture. There is the added question about where a new rink would possibly go, at Brighton, at Lincoln, or possibly at the Aquatic Center. And while leaders of town government and the school district are supportive of the project, there are taxpayers with lingering questions. The town and the Kenmore Taxpayers can't keep paying for costs for schools that have fewer students in them. The school district says its goal with this project is to have zero impact on taxpayers. Now, there is a problem with scheduling. The school district is looking at a referendum before school district voters sometime next December. But the town wants a commitment from the school district before the end of the year. In Tonawanda, Steve Brown, Channel 2 News.